are now tuned in to BFTV Buffalo Fanatics. Let's go. I wish I Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with some news around the league, but specifically in the AFC East. Let's take a break from talking quarterbacks. Let's take a break from this, that, and the third. Let's talk about what the hell is your neighbor doing. Sometimes you got to know your neighborhood. Sometimes you got to know who your neighbors are. You got the Jets over here. You got Miami down there or up there, and then you got them, the Boston New England Patriots around lurking the Patriots just traded Brandon Cooks to the damn LA Madden 2019 Rams because right now these things that the Rams are doing is insane check this out they got Akib Talib they got Marcus Peters they got Indomitian Sue they got number 99 Donald bro what's going on man they're not playing games they got Gurley Cooper Cup Robert Woods yo they got a team they're gonna be exciting to watch now let's bring it back to the Patriots so the Patriots got Tom Brady we all know Tom Brady is Tom Brady right the Patriots don't go nowhere without Tom Brady now here's the deal they've lost some players they've gained some players they lost defensive coordinator Matt Patricia to the Lions they lost Brandon Cooks they're potentially maybe about to lose Gronkowski because they might be pairing those two first round picks that they now have with Gronkowski to move up and and find a trade partner up in the top 10 you know they're trying to get a quarterback because Kobe Brissett which has gone to the Colts they traded him they got rid of Jimmy G Brian Hoyer ain't gonna do anything to you so at the end of the day they see what's going on and who knows what the hell's going on with Bill Belichick is he trying to sabotage before he leaves who the hell knows? The more drama and nonsense going down in Patriots land, the better it is for the AFC East Bills so we can take over this bitch and keep it moving. So there's a lot of things going down with the Patriots. So are they on the rise? Would you call them on the rise? Are they on the decline? Is this the time where we pounce on the Patriots? You just never know. But with the Patriots always keep doing things to keep them relevant and it's annoying as hell. Because right now, you get a first-round pick for Brandon Cooks, which would not even have a, a first-round grade this year in the draft. Just my opinion. So, you get a first-round. I don't know how these guys keep doing it. It's annoying, and they need to knock it off. I'm getting sick and tired of these damn Patriots. Just go away. Go away. You've had your time, man. 17 years of just running shit. Just go the hell away so we can now start taking over. But anyway, that's the Patriots. Who knows how they're going to do this year. Um, I mean, they could really decline. They can really go up. They lost Malcolm Butler. Now they got Stephon Gilmore. Stephon Burt Toast Gilmore. However, I got to say he had a really good game in the Super Bowl. So I got to give him props to that. But anyway, those are the Patriots. Are they on the rise? Are they on the decline? Do you still hate them as much as I do? Because I can't stand anything to do with the Patriots. And I hope they go down to 0-16. Wishful thinking. On to the J-E-T-S, Jets, Bums, Jets. I can't even call them Bums anymore, man. They're silently making moves. You got two young safeties. You got a nice defensive line, a decent defensive line that could put some pressure on the quarterback. They just signed Teddy Bridgewater. You got McCown back that made some noise last year. You got a star, a, a star in the making in Roby Anderson. You know what I'm saying? They brought in Thomas Rawls, mini beast mode. You know what I'm saying? You got Bilal Powell. Yo, they just brought in Bucky Hodges. They brought in uh, Clive Walford from the Raiders. They're silently making moves. And on top of that, they, they jumped from the sixth to the third pick. You know they're grabbing a quarterback. Yo, are we, are we to be concerned about the Jets? You know what I'm saying? I, for one, am never really concerned about the Jets. Although they play as tough every time, I just feel that we are the better team, right? Um, but, I mean, shoot. They, 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 bring it every, they bring it every year. So it's one of those things where we can't sleep on them Jets, man. Them Jets are making noise, and especially with that third round pick, they pick up, I don't know, a Baker Mayfield, a Josh, a Josh Allen, a, a Josh Rosen, Sam Darnold. Yo, who knows what can happen? That's why we got to make some moves and try to jump ahead of the Jets so we now can dictate what we plan to do. But anyway, that's another story for another time. Now let's move on down south to the Miami Dolphins. So they lose Jarvis Landry gone to the Browns with Tyrod Taylor, right? So that's going to be an interesting thing to see over there in the first place. Mike Pouncey, gone. Dominic Sue, gone. So those are, the, those are, that's music to our ears because silently 
Jarvis has been killing us <laughs> for a long time, man. This guy's killing us in the slot. Ended our safety's young career, a promising career, with a little cheap shot. But, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, but the Miami Dolphins are one of those teams where I never stress about them. I really don't. I worry more about the Jets than I do about the Dolphins because I just feel we just happen to have the Dolphins number. That's just how I feel. I don't know why, but I do. The Dolphins ain't shit to me. I'm just saying. But anyway, but you got to respect them. You got to respect them. So Tannehill's coming back. Uh, they just brought in Frank Gore, the potential Hall of Famer. I think he's going to be a Hall of Famer in Frank Gore. 35 years of age, but the boy can still play. 36, 35 carries last game against us. Did, ran for 136 yards. He can still play. He's back home. He's motivated. You never know, man. Receiving core, they already know, you already know what they got. They got Parker. Uh, they got Kenny Stills. They're going to be filling the needs in the draft. How do we take the Dolphins? I mean, do we take them serious? Tannehill, are we scared of Tannehill? Nah, I'm not. I mean, they got rid of Jay Ajayi. I mean, the running game didn't really fall off a little bit. They're still a decent team, a solid team. But who do they add? Josh Sitton. Uh, they, they added Danny Amendola. Adam Gase is definitely motivated to try to come back in because you go 10 and 6 and make the playoffs to not making the playoffs last year. That's where we came in. So you know they're going to be motivated. I, a lot of people say that the AFC East is a trash conference, is a trash division. I think it's a it's a challenging division. It's a tough division. Um, maybe it's, it's the AFC East bias that we have. It's just that you all, we're all chasing one team in the Patriots, uh, but we got the little guys like us, the, pit, the the Dolphins, Jets, and Bills, always battling with each other, right? So, I mean, it is what it is. So, uh, should we worry? Yes, of course. We've got to worry about every team. But am I ever really scared of the Dolphins? Hell no. We, we squish the fish whenever we go to Miami or when they come to Buffalo. That's just what it is. Dolphins fans, get over it. We own you. I mean, listen, good luck to the Dolphins. I think you guys are going to be bottom of the league again because it's our turn. We got to make things happen. Um, and then we're going to go from there. Let's save the best for the last. And that's the Buffalo Bills. What have we done uh, lately? So let's just jump into it. We brought in Philip Gaines. I've already talked about the guys that we brought in. The Adrian McCarrens and the and the Trent Murphys. We already know about that. That's all the good stuff, right? Philip Gaines. If you guys don't know who Philip Gaines is, he's a former, I think a third round pick. Um, lanky, he's six feet, six foot one, very fast, four three speed. So it did pan out for him in Kansas City, but sometimes a different situation, a different setting can do it for you. And we need length, Lord knows we need length. So, uh, welcome to the squad, Philip Gaines. We hope to see big things out of you. Um, and moving on, we brought back Kalen Clay, second stint. I don't know what the hell, <laughs> yo, let's put it this way, man. We need speed. And Kalen Clay brings the speed. We just need to get a quarterback that knows what speed is and we can attack it and take advantage of it. Because right now we have a whole bunch of possession receivers on this receiving squad. Kelvin Benjamin, Zay Jones, uh, Deontay Thompson, we lost. So, I mean, Andre Holmes. Andre Holmes can run, but I mean, shoot. He's not your burner burner. You know what I'm saying? So we need someone that's going to come in and take the top off the defense. We just haven't had that since Marquise Goodwin. Lee Evans, you know what I'm saying? So like, let's let's keep it real, man. We need some speed. We need to take something off. I'm not gonna count TJ Graham because that boy could not catch a cold if he could. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. The prize cut, Ryan Davis. I did not expect that. I expected Ryan Davis to be part of the squad so we can take care of business. But guess what? They got rid of him. That was a surprising move. So that tells me potentially that we are just fine with who we have in Trent Murphy, uh, Owa, Edition. I'm not even going to bother saying his name because I just need to read it before I can say it. But anyway, y'all know who I'm talking about. The African Warrior. Y'all know what it is. So Trent Murphy, we got Owa. We got Jerry Hughes. We got Shaq Lawson. So uh, we got some guys on the squad. So we got we to make things happen. Two interesting signings that we made. We brought in Marshall Newhouse and Russell Bodine or Bodine, however you want to call it. So Russell Bodine, which is nice is because he's got starting experience. I mean, he was a four-year starter with the it Bengals. But the be. problem is inconsistent wasn't really great didn't pan out so the uh, the Bengals decided to say you know what peace out homie uh, so we brought him in he's going to compete with Ryan Gore for that center position now Marshall Newhouse has uh, some experience at the starting position at the right tackle you know damn well Jordan Mills is not about to come in and try to be our starter once again without having any competition not gonna happen so Marshall Newhouse comes in started uh, for the Raiders last year um, and has a lot of experience and is a big boy so this could be a good thing you know there's gonna be competition at the right tackle so that being said this is this is it the AFC East is going to be a party because everybody's trying to improve right we got the Bills with two first two seconds and two thirds we got the Jets that just moved up to the third you got the Patriots trying to get into the mix you got the Dolphins doing Dolphins things 
what are the Bills going to do? That's what we got to find out because we got holes to fill. And here's my question, though. Are we, are we set to make the playoffs again? That's number one. Number two, when you build your team, are you building your team generally for the NFL or do you build to win in your division? Because if you win your division, you're in the playoffs. I mean, obviously, you got to win other games. But if you if you you top of your division, that means you're doing well enough that you're going to the playoffs. So what I'm trying to find out is do you build for your division or do you build exterior for the NFL? Y'all let me know. Drop a line in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about this. Are you a Jets fan? Are you a Patriots fan? Are you a Dolphins fan? How y'all feel? You guys think you guys can match up against us? Uh, let me tell you something. We got a taste of the playoffs and we trying to go back again and you ain't gonna get in our way. I'm curious, I'm curious to find out because we've done a lot of things in the past where we tried to build a bully, right? Try to build the defense and try to stop them on defense, but that didn't work out because we didn't have an offense. So now we're trying to go back the other way, try to build an offense so somehow we can put some damn points on the board, make ourselves relevant again. If you guys are new to the page, don't be shy, click that subscription button, click that notification button, and comment below and click that like button, man. Y'all already know who it is, it's your boy. And I'm gone.